Hello and welcome to another episode of SCSU TV News. I'm Laura Campbell. And I'm Katherine Krejcik. Today, we will be covering the 18th annual Marion Lewis Fusco Lecture se Series, the Wellness Fair, Southern Sports, and more. For the past 18 years, Southern has brought a political, social, or creative leader to campus for the Mary and Lewis Fusco Distinguished Lecture Series. Last year, Mariana Rivera and Joe Torrey of the New York Yankees were the speakers. This year, it will be an evening with Robin Roberts, a co-anchor on ABC's Good Morning America. The high population of geese on campus has been popular for years here at Southern. One former student has used social media to bring the geese some more notoriety. Dan Zupano has the story. Next to the owl, Southern's most famous birds might be geese. The large population of these feathered Canadian fowl have become a joy for some students and a nuisance for others. But for one former Southern student, the geese are more than just fellow residents on campus. My roommate would always ask me like, why I was on my phone so much, so I had to eventually tell her, like, hey, I'm a goose. The former Southern student, who wanted to be known as Goose Number One to protect her identity, finally broke her silence after four years. She and her boyfriend, Goose Number Two, have gained over 600 followers on Twitter. She spoke via Skype about her journey with the geese and her affection for them. Did it just start like a random, you know, did it start just randomly, just one day you had an idea? You know, people were always talking about these geese on campus and why were there always geese and, you know, there was this huge flock and they were all over the place. They, people were feeding them outside of Con Hall and, you know, everywhere that it felt like I was turning, someone was talking about these geese. People were doing, I mean, people would send us questions, people would send us pictures. I mean, all the thing, anything you could think of, people have asked the geese. So, I mean, it'll go on for as long as we decide to make it go on for. I'm sure one day the geese will fizzle out. I mean, as long as there's a geese flock, I guess, on campus, will be relevant. <laughs> Reporting from Southern, I'm Dan Zampano. Spring break is finally here. There will be no classes the week of the 21st. Our own Felicia Edwards caught up with students on campus to see how they plan to spend their spring break. The days are getting longer and the sleeves of our shirts are getting shorter. Midterms are winding down and spring break is upon us. I caught up with some students around campus to find out what their plans are. Are you visiting Penn State? It's a great school, but not as good as SCSU. New York and being semi-homeless, sleeping on my friend's floor and going exploring in the city. I'm um, going to Florida tomorrow, actually. I also got the chance to meet up with some students who are really excited to just stay local this week. Just going home, you know, I got to get a new computer and all this interesting stuff. You know, just a to-do list, but it should be fun. We're actually going to go campaigning to get people to vote. Go Sanders. <laughs> I'm working. Just chilling at the crib, um, hanging with my boys, and... Um, yeah, I can't say the rest. From all of us at SCSU TV, have a happy and safe spring break. The Wellness Center put on their annual event in the ballroom this past week. They brought in many different community partners and groups on campus in one central location. The day was filled with many free samples, including all different kinds of detox waters. Now let's send it over to Sydney Jones to see who has the latest in SCSU athletics. <laughs> Thanks guys. This past weekend, the men's basketball team competed in the first round of the NCAA tournament against St. Thomas Aquinas. The men's team were down by as much as 13 and were able to fight back to tie it at 89. But the comeback wasn't good enough after a questionable charge call led to St. Thomas Aquinas winning at the buzzer, 92-90. The quest for the national championship was cut short on a bad note when a fight broke out at the end of the game. The incident is still being investigated by the NCAA. SCSU TV reached out to Michael Koblonski the Associate Director of Athletics and Communications, and since it is still being reviewed, he cannot comment directly, but he released a general statement on behalf of Southern Athletics saying, the incident that occurred at the conclusion of our men's basketball game on Saturday was extremely disappointing. It marked a highly competitive NCAA tournament game between Southern Connecticut State and St. Thomas Aquinas. As in this case, in situations like these, we will cooperate with the NCAA during their review of the incident. Otherwise, we have no additional comments on the matter at this time. 
On a brighter note, members of the Owls men and women's track team competed in the NCAA National Championships. Tressley DuPont finished fifth in the weight, though, while Mike Lee finished third in the triple jump. He set a new school record and earned his third All-American honor. On the women's side, Shatasia Watley finished seventh in the 200-meter dash and also helped the 4x4 team finish in fourth. Congrats on a great indoor season, guys. On to baseball, where the Owls had a difficult time this weekend, only winning one out of their four-game series against Queens College. They look to bounce back this week as they go on their six-game Florida road trip. The softball team, who lost their first two opening games, are also looking forward to their Florida road trip. They will play nine games in the Sunshine State, hoping to earn some wins. To the athletes that are training and traveling over spring break, be safe and have fun. Now let's send it back to that, you at the desk. <laughs> And thank you for watching. For more updates, follow us on Twitter at SCSUTV and watch us on channel 919. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you in two weeks. Have a safe spring break.